Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are jumping into Kinseed for our brand new playthrough for the full release. Because if you didn't know, Kinseed, this amazing game, has now left early access. We've got the full version of the game and I'm going to start a brand new playthrough. And let's see how amazing this game truly is. I want to dive into everything. I want to check it all out. There is lots to discover and unfold. And the only way to do that is by playing the game to get further into it. So let's start off properly. We have already done the little intro, the cutscene, the kind of like tutorial. We are now here. Let's check the calendar. It is the third, so we've played through the first two days. If you want to see those first two days, go back and watch the last video where I kind of announced the full release. We had a little look around, but the first two days we didn't do much at all. So this is where it begins properly, the third of summer, because that's when you start the game in Kin Siege. You don't start in spring. So here we are. We're starting off with our pocket money from Uncle Bill for doing the daily chores. And have we got any quests that we need to do today? Oh yeah, there's a family, Uncle Bill and our twin sibling. So you can see the age of people, which is amazing. So Uncle Bill is 55 and me and my twin sister, we are 13 years old. Now the best thing about Kinseed is you actually age up in the game and eventually you will die. <laughs> as sad and dark as that is, you can die. But if you've got kids and you've got a family, you can actually take over and play as your child or teenager and basically continue the legacy, which is incredible. And then you go on to have another family, etc. And it'll just keep going. And every character in the game, all the kids that you see, just the NPCs, they also age and will eventually die, I think. So it's absolutely incredible. So good. But then we can actually go to the Vale. These are the people that we've met so far. Uh, but we've got a lot more to meet. I kind of spoke to a few people in the last one. But look, it's interesting to see their age. Like we've got Holly Kettle who's 21. Now if we want to get married and start dating, we actually have to get a little bit older. You can't do that until you're like, what, 16, 17 or something like that? I don't know what the age is in the game. But if you want to start dating and getting girlfriends, you've got to be a little bit older. And obviously, if you want to run your own business, that is the same thing. So we need a few years to go by in order to get a little bit older. So Oli Kettle is like the youngest one at 21. Like, I don't know what age they have to be to be like a marriage candidate. I'm not sure. But a lot of these seem quite old. But look, we can see her traits, sense, stupidity and squeamish. We want to try and uh, have a family member or a, a future wife or husband with good traits because... I think you can eventually play as them and they'll do tasks around the farm. I wanted to clear that up because that is such a unique thing about this game, which I personally love and I can't wait to dive into. So here is Uncle Bill. He's starting off straight away by saying, by saying we need to start planting some seeds. So we've got to go over to the market, uh, the village center every third and 10th day and we can go and get some seeds. So we've got to do that today because it is the third. Buy seeds from the market. So every 1st, 2nd, and 8th, and 9th, so is that Monday and Tuesday, is the Travelling Trader, which also they sell seeds to. So let's go over and do this market today. There's Uncle Bill's birthday on the 6th. Right, some other tasks that we've got to do, we'll get daily money for doing this. So pick up a dandelion, feed the pig. We need to grab our fishing rod, rescue a cat, which is Azel's cat, it's gone missing. And I need a bundle of items, I will pay well. Oh yeah, we did this in the last, well, the first look video. Teresa Green, we accepted our first quest. She wants 27 pairs, which is insane. So we've got quite a lot of tasks to do, to be honest. So let's talk to our sister, our sibling, another busy day. I hear you are going to the village, be careful out there. Don't go wandering too far. We children need to be in by bed at 11. Oh, okay, so if you are younger, you pass out earlier at 11. As you get older, maybe you pass out a bit later. That's cool. Are you heard Uncle Bill, you are the lucky one to get to go out of the farm. Don't forget that bucket. I'm not sure about this whole summertide thing. Last night I had another strange dream and it was the festival. And everyone in the village was acting all weird. Just a nightmare, I guess. I'm going to talk to the bees and see what I can trade with them. <laughs> I asked how she is and she says, I smell bad. My parents will think I've been rolling in pig muck again, which I have been. Strange sibling. There's the dandelion, that's that quest done. Okay, Uncle Bill, well done. You can see, use that bucket for a bunch of purposes. Go uh, try it out. That thing will sh uh, store more than just plain old water. After you've picked up the seeds, feel free to explore for a while. The market only comes around once a week, so it's a good opportunity to try and sell anything that you've gathered. Okay. Also, take this five brass. There should be a game or two that you can have a go on while you're down there. Nice. Just be on before it gets dark, as we'll need to plant those seeds. We are definitely going to go to the market today, play some games, we'll sell some stuff. Like, we've got lots of fruit that we keep gathering. Maybe we can sell a bit of that. Right, shall we feed the piggy wiggy? 
Feed him a carrot. Yay. Maybe we can ride him today and we'll take Truffles the pig down to the market. That's what we're going to go ahead and do. Truffles the pig ate the key. Oh, we've got to kill him. <laughs> well, we've got to blow him up. Right, I'm going to fish and try and get that uh, proverb over there. Oh, nice. Sugar plum location. Gnomes and fairies are never glum when they pick the sugar plum. Got some fishes in here, actually. Oh, this game is so amazing. It's beautiful. So cozy as well. Right, I've got a pond marker over there. I love fishing in this game. Just go, cast a line. The sound effects are beautiful. The water's lovely. It really is nice to, to fish in this game. Come on, fishes. We've got to go today. It is... Okay, is that 10, 10 a.m. now? So we've got to get moving soon. Dandelion, the biggest seed is pointing this way. So that's, that's on number 10, right? So it's 10 a.m. Right, that fish is too far away. We've got to get a bit closer. I'm catching some fish because we can sell them at the market, I think. Try and get a little bit of extra money. So let's try and get some. There's a few fish around here. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed it. I think I've spooked off the fish. Come on. Oh, this fish does not want to play. Okay, weed skimmer. Nice. Oh, the rain's come. I love that about this game, by the way, as well. So you won't wake up to rain, and it rains all day. The rain comes and goes. So you might just have a quick one-hour shower, and then it will get light again. But look how awesome the rain looks. Oh, my God. The weather in this game is incredible. Look at all the, the splashes in the water. That gets me so excited, man. What's that? A rainfish. Of course, it's raining. Nice. Oh, the sound. I could hear a woodpecker. I could literally just sit there all day. That is absolutely gorgeous. Right, come on. We've got to get moving. I'm getting too carried away. Right, have we got a bucket? Why don't we get some honey? Can we sell that maybe? I don't know. There's another pond here. Oh, it's just it's so gorgeous. I could literally do that all day long. Look at the duck. Oh, my God. It's adorable. He's hiding behind the little uh, the reeds there. Look at him. Oh, God, this game. Stop doing this to me. I've got to go to the market. And it's 12 p.m. Actually, it's 1 p.m. now. So we've got to get moving, guys, because we've got to come back and plant those seeds. And I don't know what time it closes. So let's get cracked on here. Time seems to go by pretty fast. Oh, this rain, though. Come on. And this could stop at any time, which I think it is. It seems a little bit slower. I'm so excited for this playthrough. If you guys are, please smash that like button and uh, and I'll post more and we'll try and get this so far. I want to basically get to the end of this. Hello! You're one of those Willowdown twins, aren't you? Shame you're not old enough to patronise my tavern. We don't serve miners, but we do serve miners. <laughs> Anywho, my daughter Melanie runs the place now. Got a much better head for business than I ever did. My Melanie is a good lass. She works hard and keeps the ledger up to date. Yep, yeah, I just can't get my head around it. When I ran the pub, it was spit and sawdust, the clank of coin and just shove the yearnings in a bag. People had fun, and the spilt drinks would soak your boots. Now it's all orderly and managed. I have to admit, I prefer the old way. <laughs> I love Toby. He's cool. He's so funny. There's an apple here. I'll take that. Right, we're nearly here. It's 2 p.m. Come on. We've got to get moving here. There we go. We found the market. There's some seeds. Let's go. Carrot seeds. Uh, four. Okay, I'll take those. Is there any more different seeds that we can... We can open the stand and sell some things, which I'm going to go ahead and do, but I want to buy some different seeds. So, uh, wheat seeds. Yeah, I'll buy those. We've only got four left. That's all we can buy anyway, I think. I do want to play some games. There's an apple there. All right. Let's, um, let's open up this store for a, a few hours. Let's just open it for one hour. And what we can do here is sell some things. So I'm going to sell all of those. Oh, we can set a price. So profit minus one. I wonder if anyone's going to buy them. Come on. Maybe I need to change the price. I'm not sure. Come on, buy it. Hey, you did. Let's go. We made a two profit straight away. Oh, come on. Someone else is coming. I mean, it's raining. It's not a great day for a market, but we've got six of these now. Come on. Let's sell another one for free. 
Yes! They both bought them. Look at that. Let's go. We're making some money, guys. So we made some profit on that, which is awesome. What I will do is I'll open it again, and this time we will sell some strawberries. And we'll sell the gold quality, so we need to charge these. I, may, I might go for... Oh, it's free max on those. Okay, let's go for it. So we've, all, we've lost minus one. We need to at least sell one to get some profit here. Looks like we've got two people coming. Free. Got a lady coming from the right. And we've got a few to sell. Let's go. <laughs> That's enough shopping for me today. You only purchased one strawberry. Tight get. Oh, guys, look at that. They love them. We've done. Uh, change item quickly. Let's put on... Let's see if we can... No, we need those pairs, don't we? Let's try and sell this last cabbage that we've got. We've got 15 seconds to do it. I don't think we're going to. I can't see anybody about... Oh, well. That's it. We couldn't sell that one. So we've bought... We can actually buy some more seeds now. We can buy some more carrots, I guess. For four. Got a book here. The Act of Worship. Firstly, on Goddess Day, which is the seventh day, find a goddess statue and interact. Select Make an Offering to be presented with the offering bowls and the pairings of goddesses. Okay, so we're going to get some curses if we offer the wrong ones. That's coming up on the 7th, so we've got to be a little bit careful. We don't want to miss that. Could buy some more wheat. He's sold out now. Oh, is this a poppy? Oh, no, it's not. It's blood for you. Actually, pretty common. That's a new one. Cabbage seeds. Oh, yeah, we'll get some of those. I didn't see any of them. Oh, we've not met this lady. Edna Teapot. You must be my long-lost cousin. The short and style one, right? No. Can't see no handle on you. Eyesight is not that what it used to be. Gone right down the spout. <laughs> I love the puns. My ears aren't the same either since I had them waxed. <laughs> love it. We've also got a, a grumpy guy over here. Old Jacob. Hush, you hear that? The dead round these parts like to whisper to me. Jacob, they say. We're here and we're watching you. It's true. They're from the ancient times when people got put in the ground when they died. And they're cursed, see? Because they didn't believe in the goddesses. Worshipped a male god. <laughs> you believe that? A male god? Hush. I think I hear them whispering again. They all have such, like, amazing personalities. Each person you talk to is <laughs> so different and unique. It's really nice to interact with them and get to know them on a, on a deep level, you know? So this was the mini game here, but I don't think we can do that now. Oh, no, we can. Five. Try your luck at the mini game for five. Shall we do it? Oh, God. Right, five objects. Hit the targets for points hitting them. Oh, God, guys. Let's do it. Oh! They have a bounce like that? Woo! Damn it. Let's go. I score of 72. I need to do better than that. I did not... Ex when I last played that, it was almost like a beanbag throw. And they kind of stayed dead where you, you threw them. I'm sure they did. This time, it's like a ball, and they've got a right bounce. Did not expect that. Cheeky. Right, dandelion proverb there. Let's get this one. Now, every item's, you know, got its unique purpose. So, good for cooking or crafting. Proverb for a tomato. Want to get much better deals? Add tomato to your meals. Okay. Ooh, fishes. Night time. We've got to get some good fishes here, surely. And there's a map stone over there. Oh, a river trout. Let's go. Oh, I landed on him. I <laughs> spooked him. There's the pig racing. There's the other map stone, first of all. Cuckoo do. There it is. The problem with invented flowers is a lack of reference for puns. Yeah, they ran out on that one. <laughs> Pear proverb. No fish. Oh, there is a fish in there. Shall we try a look? Is that a woodpecker? I actually want to see it. <gasps> Coin tail, a bit rich. Ooh. Hold on, do tools have durability? Look at the fishing rod. I did not expect that. So we're gonna have to repair them or craft new ones? There's a green bar and I've not got bait on the rod so I'm pretty sure that's durability. It's gotta be interesting, interesting. That's pig racing. Right, dandelion clock, we've already got one now. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, we've got we pass out at 11, right? So we've got to be careful. Strawberry proverb. Oh, I missed the other side. We'll have to come back down here and unlock it all because this, this place is huge. Is this a mine? Oh, okay. Uh, didn't expect this. 
Yes, mushroom. It's a fun guy. The typical mushroom pun. We expect that one. Now, we've got a pickaxe. We could actually get some of this. Tin ore. Yeah, everything's, I think everything's got durability. I'm sure it has. Even the pickaxe is not looking great. It's got some kind of green bar on it. Oh, we passed out at 11. So as you get older, you can pass out later. That's cool. But we don't get any, like, negative thing for doing that. We didn't do much tasks either. We only got one. That's not great, is it? We didn't... Oh, we didn't plant the crops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, here you are, sleepyhead. Don't have much for you today, but it would be good if you could deliver some milk to Old Mother Hubbard. She's the master of Cook of Quill, so might be able to give you a few tips. And I don't mean carrot tips. It's quite a long walk, so do you some good. Just use a metal bucket on the uh, old butterscotch there to fill her with milk. All right, so we've got to do that today. I'm happy to do that. So, yeah, we've got a lot of tasks. We didn't really get much finished. We've only got four brass now, but let's get these seeds in the ground. We've still got rain again, by the way, which is incredible. I've been making my own maps of the Vale, but I want to see more. Who knows what else is out there? A good sleep makes you ready for the day ahead. Okay. So, we've got some time. So, a wooden bucket. Let's... I mean, this is used for the pigs. <laughs> oh. This bucket's got poop in it. Oops. So let's plant these seeds. We'll have to use the honey bucket. I'll have to empty it. There we go. We've now got milk. So because it's raining, we do not have to... Water? I see the blue bars going up because it's raining. Lovely jubbly. Look at the puddles uh, appearing, by the way. That is so good. We've had that much rain. We're actually getting to see puddles form. Oh my god, the weather effects. I've got lots of crops here. I could have bought another set because look, we've got one more patch. So we've got some carrots, the last ones. I love how they extended it, by the way. Like there's a look at there's a lot more farming land now. And the rain is looking after all the plants. Oh, this is so cozy, man. The sound in the in the pond though. Yeah, I don't know what the green bar is there. I'm not sure what that is. I thought it might have been durability, but I don't think it is. The fishes keep moving away from me. They're so fast. But right, it's got to come this time. These two fish don't want to be caught. Hold on. Look at the wind coming through as well. Right, we got them. Hazelnut wants a weed skimmer. We've got one of those. We can find her on the way. And we need to make an offering too. Otherwise, we start getting bad things happen on the farm. Like your apples will turn rotten. Cows can't produce milk, etc. So we've got to stay on top of that. Let's feed the piggy wiggy truffles. There we go. And we will ride him. It's going to be quicker. I forgot to do it yesterday. So let's go. The pigs like, when you ride them, they, they almost have like a drifting feel. Like if you go around the corner, it drifts a little bit. I mean, it adds to the realism. It's kind of cool. But it is quite hard to navigate sometimes. You've got to be a little bit careful because these things are fast, you know. I mean, it's not smooth. It's not like riding a horse, is it? Let's be real. So we need to find hazelnut for the weed skimmer, mother hubbard for the milk. We can do that. Oh, look at that dog. That's cool. Let's go. It is 12 p.m. Right, so it's going to be hard to know where I've got to go on this side. Don't think we've ever been around this part, so... Ooh. Oh, look. <laughs> it's this guy. Herbert Lemon. This guy is crazy. No, 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 you shall not go. No, no, indeed. Your uncle told me to watch you and watch you shall, Herbert. No leaving the veil till uncle says so. Right, proverb, basil, and rainbow mushroom. So we need a key to get into these doors for the mines. Truffles has got one. He's ate it, so we need a slingshot to, like, deflate him and pop him once he's had a gassy apple. Right, we need that proverb over there. Blood for you. If I'm right, you've got to keep going west. To Old Mother Hubbard. Edward Teapot. Holly Kettle. Hope you and yours are well. 
I am feeling the best, of course. Tavern time is a great time to show everyone the proper way to drink. <laughs> a gal that knows how to drink. That's not bad, that. Right, another offering stone. Uh, we've got someone to meet over here. We've got a baby over there. Eyes are green. Oh, repent, you sinner. And if you think you haven't committed any sins, well, that's a sin right there. Pray for forgiveness from the goddesses. They're watching us. Watching us all. My favorite time of day, worship time. Goddesses go with you. Awful Tench. Teresa Green. Okay, so we've met both of those. What's this baby? Clay Teapot. Okay, part of the Teapot family. <laughs> Bob Bebloob. Woo 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 woo. We've got another one over here. What family is this? The Kettle. <laughs> hey. So we've got Ignitius Kettle. Right, I'm lost. Yeah, we need to go that way. Another person? Ash Brown. Good to see you. I've been really busy lately trying to identify more of our various bugs. You could say I have the collecting bug. Maybe one day I will share all my fluttering secrets. Can we do bug catching in this game? Bug catching would be awesome. That's that map stone done. Come on, I need to... God, it's so hard to navigate around. But we can start teleporting soon. It's going to help us get around a lot faster. Yeah, there's a snail there. Look at the snail. So bug catching could be a thing. I mean, it's not getting far. It's very slow. Which makes sense. It would be. Yeah, look. And there's one over here. Some kind of worm. Bug catching will be a thing. Snails. That is so good. I didn't even know that. Oh, who are you now? I, I've got to meet everybody. All right, Teresa Brown. So this is the Brown family. Arthur Brown. Ash Brown, Teresa Brown. Right, I'm trying to meet you quickly. Yeah, greet you. Okay. Nice. Goodbye. Just want to introduce them first and then, you know, we've sorted that bit out. Let's go this way. I think this might be too late. Old Mother Rubber's somewhere down here if I'm right. I remember. I'm trying to be fast, though. She's up here. Right. There we go. This is where she lives. There she is. So she is the master of cooking. So if you want to get your cooking skill up, uh, you've got to do lots of things with her. Curried custard. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Just had a new recipe idea. My name's old Mother Hubbard. Master cook. Sorceress of sauces. Prodigy of porridges. Whatever that is, Mother Hubbard. Okay. Now as a master, it is my sworn duty to pass on my skills to anyone who wants to learn. So if you want to become a doyen of dough and a guru of gruel, a shaman of soup, bring whatever ingredients I ask for. You'll see that my recipes bring all sorts of marvellous boons. So boons is like a buff, right? Right, let's have a look then. So there's the milk. Thanks, just what I asked for. Deliver milk to Mother Hubbard. So the first one, she wants a cabbage, which we've got. Oh, let's go straight away. Boom. Oh, nice. We've got a simpleton stew. Lovely by, loved by the village idiots. So that's an achievement. So the next one is honey and strawberry jam. And then strawberry and the, uh, the stew that we need to cook. She wants five. Oh my god. So we've got a lot to do here. So two strawberry jam and a honey. We can do that one. And there's the good boy, Doggo. All right, guys, I think we made that in time. So now we can make our way back and uh, find some things along the way. All right, there's the checkered chub. Another dandelion clock. It's 6 p.m. Still got a bit of time. Let's get this. Cookie you do. I'll try and not pass out this time. Let's try and get back to the farm without passing out. But meet anybody that we need to meet. Could possibly do some fishing. You can fish whilst on the pig. Absolutely insane. Where's Hazelnut? We need to find her. I've got a weed skimmer for her. Best thing we can do is possibly have a look to see what she looks like just to get a proper idea. She's got the cat on the head. It's the same quest as, oh yeah, the crazy cat lady who's lost the, who's lost the cat. Look at the swan under the bridge there. Wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's the first one I've seen, and that is absolutely amazing. Beautiful uh, animals they are. So elegant. And like majestic. Oh. Okay, so Hazelnut lives. Uh, it's up here. So, yes, yeah, this side. I'm sure it is. 
I know she's north somewhere. We might have missed it. It might have been near Old Mother Hubbard. We need the map stone for this as well. There's a mine there. Oh, there's another swan over there. Wow. There's the map stone. Nope. Not the fishing rod. One more to find in this area. Maybe we should find that. You can easily get, not lost in this game, but like distracted and carried away because it is so vast and quite big. You just want to explore everything and it's hard to get around in one given day. Where's the other map stone then? It's got to be down this way. There it is. There we go. So I think if you go down to the village, if you go to the world map, I think she is somewhere here. So you got to go down to Candlewick Village, go west, and then it's north. And I'm pretty sure she's somewhere between these two here. In the unvisited. We've also got... A, yeah, I love the, the world map, by the way. The world map is great. Look how big it is. I've never been to some of these places, ever. Oh, the map's beautiful. Oh, it tells you where they live. Look at that. So, yeah, we do know the... The places that we have locked, un unlocked... She doesn't live there. So they're all the Kettle and Teapot family and the Browns. Then we've got the, the main town, the Blacksmith, the, the Tavern. And, of course, the the shop. So I think it's these two. We need to explore these two next time. And try and unlock all the people down there. And we've got to do that quest. And look, this just goes further and further. So we need to unlock the north gate, the key, and then we can start going up this way. Wow. But we've just made it back in time, I think. If we... we might pass out in a second. We're just going to get back to the farm. It's this way. Here we are. We made it, guys. We made it. Right, pig, stay there. I'm going to sleep quickly. I think we made it. And we'll wake up at 6 a.m. morning time. Get a proper full day there. I love it. And we got free brass waiting for today for all our pocket money. Water. We've had quite a lot of rain, you know. What's going on? I'm not complaining, though. I mean, it's quite easy to water crops in this game, so it's not really like a saviour. You know, you don't pray for rain like you do in Stardew Valley because watering crops is tedious in that game. But in this game, it's quite easy to water. You can water four crops at once with just a single pour because it's like the area and there's not much crops that you can plant in the game. You know, this game isn't a farming game, even though you can still do that. But guys, we're going to end that one there. Another episode of the full release concede. Oh, I love this so much. The game's just beautiful. I get lost in how adorable and, like, charming the game looks. Just, like, fishing and the nature and the sound effects and the creatures and the animals. It is beautiful. My brain needed this game today, and I can't wait for the new episode. Hit the like button if you want to see the next part. This is going to be a great journey. I'm just literally going to get to the end of this game. I want to see everything. Let me know down in the comments what you think to concede. Are you playing it? Do you love it? How far are you? And if you haven't already, please guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a concede video or any game like this, like Stardew Valley. All the good farm RPGs out there. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. I hope you're all feeling festive. Stay safe though, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.